Thirsty on the east side of town? We'll head to a WNST favorite. King Discount Liquors on Pulaski Highway, just inside the Beltway. They have it all. I'm Johnny Bent down at King Liquors. Come and see me for all your needs in wine, spirits, and beer. Don't forget to give the king a ring. Shannon Sharp's in the house. You're always going to be a Raven. I know you. People think you're a Bronco too. Well, we're not going to. We're not going to put you on the spot. But you're always a Raven to us. Welcome in. Thanks for having me, guys. Had Rod Woodson yesterday. A little old school Super Bowl stuff. First of all, game. And we talked to Pearl Davis about this uh, today. You've been there, done that, obviously. Uh, Patriots, Giants. Some people are starting to say if the Patriots get tight this week, you know, the Giants are free wheeling it, free spirits a little bit. I don't think the Patriots are going to panic, though, do you? Uh, no, I don't think so. I, I think in order for the Giants to win this football game, they're going to have to go out and take it. Uh, uh, the regular season, the Giants had nothing to lose. Um, and you heard Tom Brady say it, when we started the season, 18 0 was not in our, in, in our game plan. We wanted to win our division have an opportunity to play for the play, get in the playoff, get home field advantage, win the conference, get to the Super Bowl. Now 18-0 happen to come along with all those things they accomplished. But it's a situation that they're gonna have to, the Giants are gonna have to take this ball game from the Patriots because the Patriots know what's at stake here. And uh, I don't think they'll, I don't think they're gonna play tight. They're gonna be who they are. They're gonna try to get the big plays. They're gonna run with Lawrence Maroney. And uh, if the Giants don't stop it, be a short night for him. You can get over real early. Shannon, it was just over a little over seven years ago uh, you guys made this with the Ravens. Does it seem like that long ago? And when was the moment that you knew we got this team right? As soon as they saw they were playing the Giants. Uh, no. <laughs> no, actually, once we got the lead, <laughs> you know, because our whole thing was once we, you know, down this road with Trent, you know, I would ask Marvin, I said, Marvin, what do we need to win? Marvin would tell us we need 17. Marvin would tell us we need, you know, get us 21. Our thing was if we got 10 points, 13 points on you, Forget and we didn't turn the football over. That was the only way you, you had to you had to be able to run an interception back against us or a fumble, pick it up and score. To drive on that on that defense that year, it wasn't happening. It wasn't happening. Um, and once we got the lead, I think we got up what 10 nothing, 13 nothing in the Super Bowl. I knew they weren't going to be. Shannon Sharps with us here on Radio Road, live in Phoenix, Super Bowl 42 coverage at uh, 523 back in Baltimore. You know, the league, and um, as you now see, covering the games and uh, doing all your work on TV and following it, the league has really changed a lot over just, I think, in five years to the point where now, third and two this year, this is a stat for you, third and two this year, 77% of the plays in the league were passes on third and two. But in, in, in your in your day, third and two was what? Hand, hand that ball off and run it. Run. What happened? You come in you, you come in with jumbo personnel. Uh, 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 you come in with an extra tight end or extra offensive lineman. You put a fullback in the backfield in front of you, run it back, and you say, okay, go get me a first down. Uh, but with the rules, of, the way the rules have changed now, why not throw it? Uh, if you don't get to the quarterback, all the top 10 quarterbacks are going to complete 60% of their passes. So if you don't put him on the ground six out of 10 times, he's going to be a completion.